All right, guys, today uh, we're going to try to do content in this game. So what we're going to do today, today we're going to try to do um, faction content. OK, let's see if there is anything uh, faction. faction. Oh, actually, bridge watch is boggling in the lair. If you can see the bridge watch, actually, got a pretty decent amount of the map conquered already. I can see that. Let's see. Can we actually join these groups? So we need to see where is the fight. We're searching for this little indicator. Oh, there it is. Actually, I'm blind. This map is being captured by Fort Sterling right now. Maybe I should join Fort Sterling instead. So it costs us like 22k silver to transport to Fort Sterling with this all these items. It is cheap. It is okay. And right now we need to search for the Fort Sterling faction dude. And he is right over here. All right, let's go and take a Fort Sterling flag right now. So right now we are enlisted for Fort Sterling. So that means I lost all my rank with um, with Bridgewatch and and again, I don't really care about uh, my rank in Bridgewatch. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to go to this map and we're going to try to join the people who is capturing uh, faction outposts on uh, red zones. So so we, we arrived on this map and here we can see there is uh, our faction blob which is in south corner of the map. So we are trying to get to them. So we're just going to follow these people. I don't think they're going to invite me in the party since when I look at them, they are actually masked. Like they, they must have a leader maybe from um, maybe through the discord or or through the guild. I don't see their guild tags because I have a guild tags disabled uh, for the sake of the video, basically. So you guys saw we killed the boss, we killed a couple mobs. We're basically going to capture this outpost and uh, this outpost belongs to uh, Bridgewatch right now, uh, but we will capture it and it will be a uh, Fort Sterling outpost after we capture this. Right now, we're just waiting, paying attention if there's another any other blob on the map. So we, we captured. We were waiting for our previous map to be captured. If, if the previous map is not captured by a faction, you cannot go uh, in middle of nowhere and randomly capture map. So right now, this map is also so getting captured we can see that progress when we press m you see this indicator right here slowly moves to the port styling and we're just gonna keep following our faction by doing this we already uh farming some faction points and this is basically the same thing that we're gonna be doing uh during the bandit event if bandit event pops during this i'm just gonna go back to the city and start it over actually but uh there's not much difference between this what we're doing right now and uh, between between the actual bandit event basically you do the same exact thing Thing. you try to capture as many outposts and uh, you try to not die or if you fight you try to fight other players basically and if you want to do it with the group you can also join the discord of your faction you just google it it's really easy to find so what we're doing right now by the way guys I, I i think i did not mention we're trying to get all the all the maps which have the most of the stars so this map has five stars right now and the more stars we get more faction points we get so right now we we had 2k faction points when we started right right now we got our daily bonus reward received and we farmed a little bit and we got 4k we got 4k faction points and we capped we got 150 faction points by capping one outpost so well, there's one more thing there's one more difference between uh, this just farming um faction points and actual bandit event uh there's one major difference if i remember it correctly like this right here you're just going uh, around you're just running around and you're just farming points but whenever bandit event starts bandit event is only yeah i think it's for one hour or something like that and after it ends it will give you the bonus faction points which can actually be a lot that's the main difference basically it's like same thing but at the end of the bandit event you get extra extra faction points for participation and it actually can be a really really good amount of points oh we actually ranked up you see our rank became recruit which is nice when you have a higher rank you kind of get uh, more points from this content but uh, what happens sometimes is that sometimes your faction that you join is actually dead so they don't make any they don't mass they don't group up uh, and um, for that solution i found that if you if you just want to do content and if you do not care about like uh, efficiency i guess or silver per hour i think it's it's uh, it's 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 a nice choice that you can actually your between factions anytime you want so that's what we are doing right now 
I choose this content basically because I think this is one of the first content that new players can be engaged in this game and also one of the first uh, group contents as well where you can just just go on the location and just join someone randomly to have fun these bosses actually do quite a lot of damage and you don't want yourself to be knocked down because whenever you're doing this the enemy team the enemy faction might strike you anytime that's why we're paying attention on our minimap all the time because if we see a blob which has a different color that means other faction players are on this map and they're probably gonna come and try to kill you that's basically what happens a lot when people are busy killing the boss they don't pay attention to the map so they get wiped by the enemy team and there is one thing that i want you guys to understand that whenever you guys play this content you try to never lose your mount and what does it mean it means that whenever you dismount there is a white circle that is around your mount basically when you hitting the boss make sure you don't go outside this white circle and if you see the enemy and they are about to hit you you make sure you stand near your mount so you could like click mount up and run away during the content so right now we see the the players actually try to gank us and we saw that because we watched our teammates actually started to run away from the outpost that's why you actually need to follow your team all the time we're gonna try to dismount here and we're gonna try to fight them uh, with our team of course uh, okay we do this uh, we do damage I don't think my team will be able to catch these people because uh, they're super close to the... Oh, there it is. One guy is dying. Oh, can we kill it? I think we can kill it. He's a tank though. Has Okay, we killed one. There's one more guy. He's dead too. Nice. We killed the other guy. This guy cannot escape because he's in combat. We killed the third guy. Oh, we actually killed four. We go back to our outpost and that's why you need to always pay attention what is your team doing by the way one more thing if you're taking a lot of damage like i do right now you can always uh, mount up and just stay away for a bit uh, let your group uh, stabilize and you can dismount uh, on another place probably close to the healer this way you can use your mount as a as a protection and while doing this, I mean, this content is actually kind of cool because you can actually inspect other players and uh, see what builds they're using. And you actually can try some of these builds. Probably like this build is going to be uh, good for group PvP content. It's like this healer build, which is really good for healing... Uh, big groups and you might actually get uh, an idea how to make your own build someday or which builds work instead of uh, inspecting people in yellow zones or in blue zones where people do not risk their items uh, at least you know when you inspect someone uh, in a red zone like this one or in black zone there is a high chance that uh, this guy is using actually better build because he he knows he's risking his items and if he does not have a proper build which will help him to deal damage or help him to to tank or to heal he and his group will actually might die because of that so it is a really good way to no builds basically while doing uh, this content in red zones people farm this in yellow zones as well so in yellow zones you are probably gonna see most people with random 8.4 items which is kind of not making any sense in any content they're doing that because it's more safe you cannot lose your items in the yellow zone so they bring whatever they think is deals more damage to farm this faster but uh, i think farming this in the red zone is giving you probably more points and also you have a chance to actually pvp with someone you have a chance to kill someone and take his loot in red zones you do not have a, a big economy and if you're a new player in this game you can copy this guy's build you see he's not even bringing any cape any bags any foods anything he's just coming with a healer set uh, and uh, he's just healing people he's actually being uh, quite useful to be honest even though he doesn't have uh, expensive items on him that means he can die as many times as he wants and i think his build probably costs around 50k or less so by the way guys we're doing this content uh just because we're waiting for we're waiting for the bandit events to start so even though there is no bandit event we are still doing some faction satisfaction around the red zones basically i think i missed a notification message but what happened guys is that we have bandit events starting in five minutes so that's why uh, my team decided to go back 
we can R back uh, by using this button right here. It will cost us 2K silver to go back to the city. So we're going to click this and we're going to go back to the city. And we were waiting for this. Actually, we were farming a little bit of faction points while waiting for this content. We farm 40K points. Uh, we have a couple minutes left right now to get ready for this next upcoming bandit event, which is pretty exciting. I'm going to be able to show you guys what is this event uh, about. Uh, sometimes what I do, I bring my tools as well. Well, yeah, I'm just bringing tools just in case if I see any expensive uh, notes, I can gather them up. Before this event starts, you need to have your faction flag on. It means right here on this corner, you should have your faction icon. Right now we are in uh, Port Sterling and our faction icon is this hammer on a white background. So the white is the color of Fort Sterling. If you want to get uh, your faction flag, you need to go to this guy right here and you need to click uh, on this flag icon. Actually, I can demonstrate it to you, by the way, to remove this. You, you can click on this icon and right now I clicked and we're waiting. We're removing the faction flag. There you go. We remove the faction flag. You see on my on my cape, there is no longer a faction icon. So we go to this guy and it says flag. We click this flag and yes, and now we are faction flag. Right now we can see that this event starts in 10 seconds. So we need to get to the, uh, to the first location as soon as possible without dying. You see? The bandit assault has begun so right now if we see the map the map has reset and uh, right now we can see that all these maps needs to be captured so what we're doing right now basically we're looking at the map for example we're in fort sterling and this is the first uh, red zone that is super close to the fort sterling craig door which is connected to this yellow map through the tunnel for example if you're in limpers and you have limpers faction the first map that is super close from from uh, Limpshurst is gonna be this one, a tier six map. So what you do, you go to this map and through the tunnel, you'll be able to go to your first red uh, zone faction map and every other map like Bridgewatch as well. This map right here in Bridgewatch and through the tunnel, there is your map. And in Martlock, if you're Martlock uh, flag, you go to this map right here, Eldon Hill, and through the tunnel, you go to your first faction map. So right now what we're doing, we need to catch our faction team. It is okay if you're a little bit late, I guess. This event is uh, uh, basically for one hour. So take your time. Try to not to die for no reason. By the way, guys, tunnel is kind of dangerous. And if you cannot go through the tunnel, uh, you can actually avoid uh, going through the tunnel by just going through the other map. So if you want to come to this map that uh, you see a lot of gankers inside the tunnel, you can actually come around through this map on the same map. But right now we can see there, there are zero gankers. So I think uh, going uh, through the tunnel won't be any issue for us. So the event started and we are almost there, guys. We are almost there. We are almost on the same map as our faction boys. Well, we're just going to follow these people. And oh, you see, there is a 4.3 fiber, uh, which we we're gonna gather we got a little profit of course this is really nice that's why we bring um, uh, tools as well we got ourselves 50k profit easy just by randomly moving around on the map when you do this by the way when you attack the boss uh, make sure you guys um, do, don't take any unnecessary damage mount up if you see that you're about to die just move around with your mount just dismount uh, close to your healer and try to stay with your group all the time uh, I think our faction just disbanded on this side of the map and they regrouped on the other side. Yeah, basically, if you see that your faction uh, got killed by other faction and you survived and you don't know where to go, you just can R back in your city or just find another ways. Maybe there are like some other groups from your faction which are trying to conquer other maps. So right now uh, we can see that we're conquering yellow zone successfully mm, but i don't really want to do that to be honest we are back that was not the, quite the best um, bandit assault experience because our faction basically failed but uh, you see the the bridge watch is actually doing really good and also every other faction is doing quite better than than fort sterling at this moment so we're just gonna wait stay here wait uh it's still uh, 16 minutes left uh we're just gonna see how many uh points did we get from this we started with um 2k points 
uh we farmed uh, a little bit before this bandit event started we got our daily rewards which was quite quite a good amount of points and we participated in bandit event and uh after this event ends in 16 minutes we will get a bonus for participation and let's see how much points we actually gonna get let's see the faction warfare we have almost 55k points right now and yes we got 10k points we got 10k points which is actually good not bad uh, also i'm gonna open these boxes as well so let's open this box and let's open this one as well and let's see we got uh, almost like 200k worth of items like these items which we can also sell almost immediately on the action house and uh, actually i'm gonna teach you guys right now what you can do how you spend those points and how you convert this to the silver right now we need to go to our faction guy again uh on the second tab which is right over here the first item will be your faction heart so you click on this and one of these costs 3000 points so we have 65k that is approximately 21 faction hearts so we buy this which is approximately 850k uh, market value right now so right now we made one mil approximately and we did not uh, lose any items during this i don't think you can you can farm lesser than i did right now because the, our faction i think got the least amount of points basically on the bandit event but we got one mil and i will show you guys how you can make uh even more profit with a tiny bit more risk so if you watch this video so far Stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to show you how to do the faction transports. I hope this is not like a one hour long video. Thank you for watching guys and I hope I will see you guys in my next video.